Hi, in this video we're going through how to complete the Sonora National Park and Assault Rifle variant of the Arms Trafficking Ground Mission in GTA 5. Hi and welcome back, my name's Dan and I'm an old grumpy gamer. Grand Theft Auto is a truly massive game. Between GTA 5 and the constant updates from Rockstar for GTA Online, there's no shortage of new content and interesting things to do. Join me then for our series, Every Business in GTA 5, as we look at getting through the Sonora National Park and Assault Rifle variant of the Grand Theft Auto Arms Trafficking Ground Mission. Before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, we do how-to guides, news and giveaways, so consider subscribing and ring the bell to stay up to date. The Ground Trafficking missions are a little different to the others in that the destination and rewards are fixed, but the the group of enemies you'll face seems to be randomly selected. And while there's no gold in this one per se, it can be a little challenging to get through in a reasonable amount of time. Before starting, I highly recommend making sure Trevor has full armor, SMG ammo, and rifle ammo, just in case something goes sideways. Let's pick it up as we're about to jump in the car. All right, so once we're in, we'll get our briefing again. And there is our marker. So we'll just set that up. Now it's a minute and a half or minute 40 to get here. So we need to be fairly prompt. And if you're paying attention, you'll hear that Oscar was saying we need to keep off the road. So once we get past the bridge, we'll go a little off-road. It doesn't have to be right off-road, but I think we'll just probably scoot along the front of the Alamo Seas Beach there. So let's just scoot along the front here, the foreshore. And that'll keep us enough off the roads that it's not going to be a drama without getting us too unsafe stuck too quickly. I'm going to try and stay in the dry sand rather than the wet stuff because that'll slow you down a bit. So now we can go straight across the highway, straight across the train tracks. Just be a bit careful here because it can become unstuck very, very quickly. And we can see the flare there. No sign of the enemies just yet, but I suspect they'll turn up soon. So we just want to quite gingerly head across here because the car can become very, very lively. There's the plane and there's the package. So just drive over the package. There we go. And... Yep, I've got a couple of gun runners coming, so let's jump out, set a rifle, and drop into Trevor's ability, and off we go. Alright, so they are kind of everywhere here, so what we want to do is use Trevor's ability as much as possible. Blow up vehicles wherever possible. And we're really keeping an eye on that mini map to make sure that we're getting everyone. Uh, we don't want to be flanked. And it's also a really neat way to keep an eye on what's happening around you. There we go. So that's those guys. One fella off to the right there. He's done. Just a few more behind us. You can see him jumping in and out of Trevor's ability a fair bit here. Um, trying to take as much advantage as possible because I think we're just about out. But wait until we've got a plumb shot, drop in, shoot them, and then pull straight back out again. Right, that seems to be them taken care of. Car's no worse for wear. So we'll jump back in. We've got the marker straight away, so we'll just set the best course. Hopefully that'll be all the resistance we encounter. This one's probably one of the longer missions, but that's okay. And again, trying to find that balance between going as the crow flies and then taking roads and reasonably flat surfaces because this vehicle is very, very lively. It is very, very taily and we can get unstuck very quickly. All right, looks like we've got a few more on our tail, but we'll probably, with any luck, just be able to outrun them. Stick on the foreshore here. Oh, that's not our best work. Oh, that's a chopper. All right, let's jump out and we will take care of that. Aim at the tail for the chopper. That'll make it drop much, much quicker than trying to take out anything other than the pilot. That's them sorted. And they're down. So we'll stick to the foreshore again and just jump back on the road as we come up to the bridge. There we are. And now we can just head on back to the airfield. Now, this is probably the most involved of the five different variants for the ground mission, but it seems to be a lot of fun. Got a bit of shooting practice, so that's always good. All right, so we'll just head into the marker there. And job's done. That's another five grand in the bank. Four and a bit minutes, so not too bad. And an assault rifle if you didn't have one. Awesome ammo if you did. So thanks for watching. Check out the video up the top for the next variant or the one down the bottom for some more old grumpy gamer goodness. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.